Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're going to be going over all the new weapons and armor that was added in the 10.0 update and as well as a special bonus for all of you guys at the end of the video I will also be going over the new pet armor that was added to the game as well and how to unlock it. So before we jump into that I want to invite all you guys to like comment and subscribe and as always let's hop in and let's have ourselves a great time. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the crow crossbow you'll see that Pete has it equipped right here for everybody to see it looks really cool it's got some little crow feather pieces that are hanging off the back and this crow crossbow is pretty freaking sweet let's talk about what it takes to craft it to craft this weapon you will need six crow feather pieces for acorn shells and four silk rope the crow feather pieces are the more difficult thing to get in the game but at the end of the day all the crow feather pieces now all the crow feathers that drop are dropping between two and six pieces of crow feather now anyway so not that long to make this crossbow. Is it worth making this crossbow? Yes. Why the sheer damage output? Okay, look at the damage compared to your insect bow. Your standard insect bow, yes, it's a little bit faster, but it is doing almost double the damage of your insect bow. And on top of that, look at it compared to the sprig bow. The sprig bow is very, very low at this point. This is a great starter weapon, but the curl crossbow is definitely the cream of the crop when it comes to using a ranged weapon. What's the drawback on this? That's exactly it. It is the draw. The draw takes a longer time than your insect bow. So using this against everything in the game probably is not going to be your best bet, especially things that are moving fast. But for, say, instance, something where you need to do a lot of damage, like a broodmother or a wolf spider this could be a very good weapon for you to use even though it fires a little bit slower so i would suggest you guys go out and make one of these but i would keep your insect bow on you in case you need to do a faster damage output than just using a crow crossbow because at the end of the day you can get off about two shots from the crow from the insect bow about a shot 0.8 in the time it takes to get a bolt off with the crossbow bolt but what I will say is that it does use the exact same arrows that you have for the bow. So it does use the feather arrow, it does use the venom, the standard, the lure, and the gas arrow. All these arrows are used for the crow crossbow, so you do not need to worry about crafting any other gear in order to make this, to use this weapon. So, really cool that they added this in. The next thing we're going to hop up to is one of the weapons that you get straight from the broodmother after you kill her, and you analyze one of her pieces, and that is the Club of the Mother Demon. The Club of the Mother Demon is a spike club built for violence fashion from various parts of a broodmother and other resources. My worry with this weapon is that the recipe is going to change, but for now, as of the time of recording this it is one broodmother venom two broodmother fangs and two broodmother chunks now it does say uh and other resources so i'm not exactly sure how they're going to adjust this in the future but for right now this is what we have and this is what the actual recipe is. Now let's compare this to say something like the mint mace, which is right above that you guys can't see right now because my nice gorgeous face is in the way. The mint mace the damage, stun, and speed on this guy is incredible. I love using this weapon. The only problem with it is that it does use a lot of stamina when swinging it. But if we look at something like the Club of the Mother Demon compared to the Mint Mace, it's exactly the same in the stun and speed vial, but when it comes to damage, it's even higher. In fact, it's maxed out. Now, the only other weapon that I've ever seen where the damage was maxed out was actually the Dragonfly Slayer, which was a tier four weapon that's not even in the game yet that I found purely in the development files. But this has now since been changed. Do I think that the Dragonfly Slayer is still going to be in the game? Yes. Do I think that the Club of the Mother Demon is going to do the same amount of damage? I'm not sure. But saying that the, that the Dragonfly Slayer is a tier four weapon, I do believe that the Dragonfly Slayer will do more damage in the future. But if for right now, it is completely nerfed and doesn't do anything to keep it from spawning it and using it. So Club of the Mother Demon, really, really cool. I have not seen any sort of bonus effects that are coming from this um, when swinging it. But what I will say is that I'm using the Club of the Mother Demon and the uh, Mask of the Mother Demon at the same time. Time. so do those work together and give you a special bonus I haven't noticed yet but it's always possible you guys know these developers they're sneaky all right let's talk about the armor that you get in this uh, in this update so the first thing that they added to the game and the only thing they added that your player can equip is the mask of the mother demon a foreboding helm crafted from frightening pieces of a fallen brood mother this is a really cool helmet it takes one brood mother fang three brood mother chunks and ten silk rope in order to unlock it and use it it does take um 
you, all you need to do to unlock this is to either research the broodmother fang or the broodmother chunk and you will unlock this guy now let's talk about stats so the stats between this one and the ladybug faceplate let's say the defense is on par it is a really good weapon would i suggest swapping out your ladybug faceplate helm for your mask of the mother demon eh. why the defense might be there, but let's look at the skill that you get from the Ladybug Flies play. You get the blocking strength, and when you have all pieces of it on, you also get that um, the Scarlet, uh, what is it called? The Scarlet Embrace, that's it. Scarlet Embrace, which heals your character over time, so it makes you very, very, very tanky. What does the Mask of the Mother Demon do? So far, through my playing, what I've noticed is that this poison coating, when things attack you, they take poison damage. Uh, that's kind of what I've seen. Now, this is my straight, you know, testing in the game. I have nothing that's, like, confirmed from the developers. That's exactly what it does, Sim. But that's what I believe it does, because when I'm taking damage, I do see that they are taking damage himself now will this be helpful if you're perfect blocking not really you're perfect blocking you're not taking damage anyway so why have poison coating it is a really cool looking helmet i'll go throw it on for you guys so you guys can see what it does look like here we go this is what it looks like it does look really really cool and you can see pete's eyes kind of popping through there it's easier if i equip something uh like an axe for you guys to see instead of the crow crossbow here um but see now he's looking more up but this is the mask that was added in the game i don't say jump over and switch out your weapons and armor right now if you're using a mint mace switch over to the club of the, Mo the mother demon it's way better than the mint mace and i do enjoy using it a lot more and let's face it it looks pretty freaking cool if i do say so myself that's a pretty foreboding weapon and i really do enjoy looking at this weapon and this armor set together they did a great job now as a special gift for all of you guys i'm also going to be going over one what the two pieces of pet gear is and two how to craft it so the first thing i want to say is that the two pieces that you can unlock is the grub gear and the ant helmet so you have grub goggles and ant helmet both of them are unlocked by researching a mushroom brick i know that's really confusing and i don't know why they did that um, i think it's just a temporary unlock in order to do that i think it might be that you need to uh tame something and then maybe uh you know that would unlock it i'm not sure but why it's a mushroom brick i can't really say at the moment but it is still pretty cool that we do get two pieces of gear now each of them are either for the grub goggles it's three grub hide or the ant helmet it's an ant having some mite fuzz but let's talk about it it says right here the pet grub goggles strap a pair of stylish goggles onto your bug friends fashion out of slimy but sturdy grub hide and they're really cute. I do enjoy them. It's like he's wearing little sunglasses. I think that they're really awesome. And then the pet ant helm. Give your little insect pal some samurai style. Fine gear constructed from a whole ant head and lined with supremely comfortable mite fuzz. So it's even comfy for the little guy while he's walking around wearing it. These are really cool. And I do hope that we get more uh, pet uh armor pieces in the future they do not give any sort of defense bonus to your pets or anything like that at the moment i think they are purely cosmetic and i think that's actually how they're gonna stay but that is all of the weapons and armor that was added to the game for this update. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. Also, if you guys can, make sure you guys subscribe to your bell notification to all because I'd hate for you to miss any updates that are coming to out from Grounded that I'm going to be covering for you guys. And also, leave a comment down below of what your guys' favorite armor or weapon piece that was added to the game. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.